Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am sitting here currently in the UK in what is a very, very bright and a very warm December weekend. I'm sitting here laughing because I'm currently wearing one of the jumpers from today's haul and it's too hot. The sun's so bright, I can't really see myself in the viewfinder, but hey ho, I am not complaining because in the UK, weekends like this in the middle of winter at the start of December are very, very rare and I cannot wait to show you what I've got in today's haul. Before we get into this, this is actually my birthday weekend. I'm filming it the weekend before my birthday, which is on Monday, which is exciting in some ways because I actually have booked some time off from work, so I'm actually off to Paris. But not so exciting in the fact that I'm getting older, but hey-ho, such is life. But I feel good today. I'm feeling very warm, but I feel very good, and I'm very happy to be back with you guys to film today's haul. So if you haven't guessed already, today's haul is from Mango. Mango is a shop that I've actually found a new lease of love for it's not a shop that I have shopped in for years and years until this season you may have seen from one of my previous hauls this season from mango I absolutely loved all the items which is hence why I'm here filming back with you all and I have to say the love that I had for the previous haul remains in today's haul and I cannot wait to show you some of the items I bought now the first item of today's haul is in fact this jumper that I'm wearing I am too hot the heating's been on too much the sun is so bright I hope that you guys can see and the sun's not affecting the video but I am too warm, yet I am still sitting here in this jumper, purely for the fact that I absolutely loved it. I couldn't just leave it on the floor, ready to show you guys. I had to wear it straight away. And I don't know if you can see, but it is this beautiful, beautiful floral colour mixed with this beautiful lilac into greens, into a lightish yellow, into pinks. The colours and the transitions for me are the reason why I bought this item because I was just absolutely, when I saw it on the website, I just was like, wow, this is such a beautiful jumper. If you guys have been watching me for a little while or at least watching the last few holes of mine, I haven't really been a jumper girl. So for me to feel that kind of love for a jumper was quite rare. And I thought it's quite preppy in the sense that it's a little bit short. And hopefully I'll be showing you in the cutaway, but it's a little bit short. It's got a nice round neck. I can literally wear it on its own or wear it with a shirt like I am wearing today. Hopefully I'll be showing you the different ways I, I can style it in the cutaway. But I absolutely love it. And I think the great thing about this jumper is it's kind of like a, a double season jumper because I kind of feel like you can wear this in autumn, winter. In fact, into the early months of spring before it gets too warm because it's got those colours of spring, but also it's got the brightness to lift you through them in autumn and winter months. And you know me, I love clothes to make me feel good or love clothes that make me smile or seeing people wearing clothes that make me smile. And this for me in essence is this exact jumper. Now this jumper is $35.99. I've got this in a size small. I bought it in a medium as well. Um, but I have to say it's kind of a little bit oversized anyway so that you can put stuff underneath it. I love the fact that you can just literally pull up the sleeves. It's honestly a beautiful, beautiful jumper. So if there is one in stock and you like the kind of transitions of these colours and a little bit of colour in these winter months is the thing for you, then I would say definitely hit buy and try it on and see if this is an item that you love as much as I do. Now the next item on today's haul is in fact an item that I would call a designer dupe. This coat, honest to God, is the best dupe for a Max Mara teddy coat that I have actually ever seen. Now I do in fact have a Max Mara coat that is in a kind of a light beige colour that I have absolutely love i've had it for i think three years it was incredibly expensive it was bought for me as a gift from my partner and honestly i couldn't believe it when i saw that he bought me his coat it's so expensive but i've worn it to death i've worn it every single year throughout the seasons and i absolutely love it but prior to actually getting that coat every time winter would come around i would always try and find a dupe for this max mara coat because i love the shape i love the style it isn't just the material for me if you've seen the Max Mara coat maybe I'll show you in the cutaways of what the Max Mara coat looks like it is kind of very big oversized but it's cut in such a way that it's so flattering so every time I would see a coat in the high street or on online which had the exact same material often ranging from kind of 80 pounds up to 600 pounds I would buy it I tell you now 
on any site that you see a Max Mara dupe, I've probably bought it, tried it on and sent it back because I honestly was trying to find the best dupe for that coat because I could not afford to buy the coat. So hence why my partner after several years surprised me with this beautiful coat and I was absolutely gobsmacked and I've loved it and I've worn it to death ever since. So the reason I'm so excited to show you this coat is because honestly, this is the best dupe I have ever seen. Like I'm not over egging the pudding here. I'm not overselling it, I'm not overcooking it. Seriously, the best dupe I've ever seen. Now it isn't in the color that I would go for, but this is in the kind of the brown Max Mara trademark color. This was the original Teddy color for Max Mara. All the other variations of color came out. And it's honestly so, so soft. It's got the detail, which is this line on the arm, which is a very trademark Max Mara Teddy look. The back is completely flat, but it's cut in such a way that it's flattering. The way that the collar actually sits on you reflects exactly how the Max Mara collar sits on you as well. And it's honestly just amazing. It's so hard to show you in, in the actual camera itself. So I'll be showing you in the cutaways, I am sure, but it is beautiful. Now this coat is expensive and in a sense that it's more expensive than the coats that I've shown you previously. It's 120 pounds and I got it in a size small, but I have to say for 120 pounds, if you are in love with the Max Mara Teddy coat, this is 120 pounds of absolute value because the actual Max Mara coat, I think when I got the coat, I think it was around the 16, 1700 pounds mark, which is absolutely ridiculous. And I think it's around the 2000 pounds mark now. So if you're able to get a coat like this, 120 pounds, there are stores out there that are selling the same style coat for like 500, 600 pounds. It is amazing. Now I checked today and I, I saw that it was pretty much sold out. They had a few sizes left, but I will definitely say sign up for the notification. So when it comes back in stock that you can buy it, because honestly, if you are a Max Mara Teddy Coat fan, this is the coat for you. If I can say anything on today's haul, this is the coat if you love a Max Mara Teddy. But yeah, I was absolutely surprised when I saw it on Mango. I looked at the model, having had previous experience where I'm like, hmm, it never actually looks the same when it comes to you. And I was like, hmm, this looks really similar to the Max Mara style. And I was like, surely not. I'm just gonna buy it. Even though I had no intentions of possibly keeping it because I didn't know how I felt about the brand. I was like, I have to try it just to see if it's a good dupe because I know that you guys would love it. And I am always looking for a bargain. So if I can find a bargain, and even if it's not for me, I am gonna tell you guys about it because hey, earning money is hard and there's nothing worse than spending money on something that isn't quite right. Now my next item on today's haul is a beautiful, beautiful beige dress in what is a very, very soft and actually kind of stretchy material. Now it's a hard way to describe this material, this dress, because it's the kind of dress that if you kind of move up and down, that you can feel like the material's stretching. So it's that kind of like stretchy feeling, but it is so soft, it's this high top kind of turtleneck, it's very floaty, it's, it's not tight at all. In fact, I think when I, hopefully we're showing you in the cutaways i think i would style this up with quite a thick belt i think i've got like a thin brown belt but i would probably style it up with a bit more of a chunkier belt and really really love wearing this i could wear this for for work i could wear this working from home whilst that works so i look presentable on my team's calls i'd also wear this down for like a quick coffee go to see your friends for a lunch date it's a very versatile dress and to be fair, as much as it's kind of a casual dress, you can actually dress this up. Now from a perspective, if I was going down for probably lunch with friends, I'd probably wear kind of like a knee high boot, cream knee high boot. I'd probably wear this dress and a nice belt. But then if I was going out for maybe like dinner or early drinks and I'd wear it with kind of a, a nude pair of heels, dress it up and that's why I really really love this dress now this dress is $29.99 I've got this in a size small I would definitely say you do not need to size up definitely stay true to size I think even you could err on the side of caution and you could go even a little size smaller but for me I tend to just try and stick to my size wherever possible but I absolutely love this dress I love the coloring of it I think it will go really well with that teddy coat that I just showed you just now. I just think I've got lots of items in my wardrobe that it's worked well with. And yeah, for $29.99 for a kind of very long maxi length dress that is versatile, it's a no brainer for me. Now this next item, which I actually go really well with the dress that I've just shown you, are a beautiful, beautiful pair of cream boots. Now I don't own any cream knee high leather boots. In fact, I don't own any knee high leather boots at all. I've got the Stuart Wiseman suede kind of black boots that go over the knee, 
but I've never actually owned a pair just like this. Now I saw this on Mango and I wasn't too sure about whether or not to actually buy a pair of shoes from Mango because I've never bought shoes from Mango. And I think for me, with especially heeled shoes, I'm very particular because I want my feet to feel comfortable. Having had problems with my feet over many, many years, I'm very sensitive and very cautious about what I put them in when it comes to heels. And so when I bought these, I was like on the fence and I was like, mm, well, I'm, I'm ordering a couple of items anyway. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna order these as well and i have to say i am absolutely very very impressed with the qualities of this boot now as you can see it's kind of got like a square square edge to the actual shoe but it's got like a curve to it so it's not fully square i know the trend at the moment is to have a very dead square kind of end on on your shoes but but for me i prefer kind of a very much a pointy pointy toe shoe or a round curve shoe but for me i think this is done just right it's not too square and it's got this beautiful kind of wooden heel with this, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it's absolutely stunning. And it, the way it's so slick for me is what sold it for me. These shoes look more expensive than they are. Now I think the price point of these are 140 pounds, which for me I think is quite expensive for a high street store to be selling their boots, but they are fully leather and they're very, very comfortable. And I think these will actually last very well. I think they're very much a timeless classic. I feel like this will be in your wardrobe for many years to come. Like I could feel like you could wear this, I could wear this, you could buy this for your mum, your aunt, they would wear it. So I feel like it's a very versatile, different generation pairs of shoes that will stay in your cupboard for, for probably a lifetime until you ruin them essentially. But yeah, these are lovely. And I hopefully was showing you in the cutaway how I would style them up with long dresses, but obviously you could wear them with shorts, you could wear them with, with jeans. Literally, the options here are endless. And yeah, I really, really love them. I think for me, 140 pounds sounds very expensive, especially coming from a high street store. But then when I think about the other options, so the other pairs of boots that I would buy were maybe those incredibly beautiful Paris, Texas boots, which are around the 600 pounds mark, I feel like, this is a good way to dip my toe in the water to see if I like this style of boot, whether I wear them loads. And if I do, then maybe next year I will treat myself to a Paris, Texas boot. But I absolutely love these boots. And um, if you are partial to a cream boot, then I hope that you love them as much as I do too. Now, my next item is a dress which is perfect for this current month, this current season, this Christmas era that we're about to go into because it is a very comfortable dress, but a dress that you could wear out to parties, to dinners, to work Christmas parties if you're still allowed them because I don't think we are in the UK here. Now, this dress is a below the knee midi dress, which is kind of very high neck, a turtleneck, and from the front, it looks relatively boring in the sense that it's kind of very plain, it is very tight, it hugs all your curves in the right way. But for me, what sold me about this dress is the, indeed the back. Now, I don't know if you can really see that it's backless here in the camera, so hopefully I'll be showing you in the cutaway, but it has this beautiful drop back all the way down your back, which is absolutely stunning. And for me, I love anything backless. If you would have seen me back in my 20s, I wasn't really rocking the short dresses. I was going for all of the dresses with backless, where it had straps down the back, completely backless. I loved and still love a backless dress. So when I saw this, my heart just sang. It just, the dress spoke to me, but it is absolutely beautiful. And one of the other things I like about it is, is this kind of material that I normally would actually associate with Zara. It's a very forgiving, thick material. So it's not thick to the point that it's heavy or rigid. It's very flexible. It's very easy to move in. It's very comfortable, but it's thick enough to really just complicate complement you so it, it's it's a tight dress but you don't feel like your lumps and bumps are exposed it literally hugs your curves in just the right way but yeah absolutely stunning now the dress is 60 pounds which is a little bit more expensive than I probably would have expected however there are not many dresses out there with beautiful backlaces which are of a cheap price point anyways but yeah I just love this it's a very comfortable dress and that's what I go for I think I said about it before in the previous haul that I always go for items that make me feel comfortable because if I'm if I'm comfortable then I have a better chance of feeling good having a nice time not having any anxiety but I absolutely love this dress 
And of course, if I find something that I absolutely love, I have to go and buy it in every color that it's available. So here we are. So I've got this in a beige too. Now I haven't tried this on yet. So when I try this on, you'll see this in the cutaway. When I try this on, this will be the first time I've tried this color on. And I hope because the material is quite thick, as I say, that it still is complementive because I always get concerned, especially when I'm wearing lighter colors, wherever you can see my lumps and bumps. But it's exactly the same style. It's got that beautiful backless at the very back it's 60 pounds yet again I think I've got this in a size 8 let me just double check I've got this in a size 8 and I absolutely love it and I feel like you know these are timeless pieces in your wardrobes these are the kind of dresses that you go to again and again and it might be that they're very plain but it, you feel comfortable and I feel like you would go and wear this you know probably out for parties and dinners this this month but you'll also reach for this again and again next year so it's a good item to put in your wardrobe a central item flattering item but it's got that sexy back which just you know pays dividends I find I feel like you know my other half he's come round to the way of life not having everything exposed at the front it's in the back and I just feel much more comfortable with it now my last item of today's haul and I've saved this to last because I've absolutely loved all those different items and I think that you guys will love it too and I know I've, I've shown you guys a few leggings over the previous hauls but I did speak to you guys about these cream rib leggings that I got from H&M I absolutely loved and a few of you messaged me to say that they're completely sold out you haven't been able to find them elsewhere so I happily and luckily came across another pair of cream ribbed leggings and I hold it up to the camera so you can see the ribbon but another pair of cream ribbed leggings from Mango so not from H&M and I thought you know what I've got to buy these I've got to try these I love my H&M ribbed leggings I wear them to death all the time so that probably means that they're not going to last too long so I thought why not get myself a second pair now these are more expensive because they're $29.99 now I bought these in a size small and a medium to see what size would fit me best and I, I've kept the medium purely because the material is a little bit thin on the back on the bottom so for me I don't want to be in a scenario where you can see my underwear or if I bend over that I feel that you can see my skin so this is why I went up a size but even though the material's a little thin, the actual material itself, how it holds you in and how it makes your legs look is really, really good. I do find I have to hoist them up a little bit so I don't have a longer crutch. And if you are a regular wearer of leggings, you will understand what I mean by that weird statement. But yeah, these are beautiful and these are an amazing alternative. I, as I say, I got these purely because my other ones are gonna be worn to death. And yeah, these have got a bit more of a sports type kind of feel. So they're not as comfortable and as loose as the H&M ones. But what I will say is they suck you in and make your legs look a lot better than the H&M items. So it's really, you know, comfortability versus, you know, complementive shape of your legs. But I absolutely love these. And as I was buying these, I thought I have to try and buy the matching sports bra that they've got. And this is a lovely sports bra because it's it's not just a typical round neck sports bra. It's kind of got that like V-neck, like a kind of like a sweetheart neckline, which is very, very flattering. But also, as I've already said, I love things that are backless. It's got this beautiful strap work at the back, which I find very, very stunning. So I bought that too. And that is, I think it was 29. No, it wasn't. It was 19.99. I would say size down in this particular item. I normally buy a medium in a sports bra, but the medium was too big, so I got a size small. So definitely size down if you are interested in this item. But yeah, I cannot believe I have literally gone through this in such a whirlwind way. I know I probably haven't spoken much about my life as much as normal, but I just wanted today's focus to be purely on the items because they are so fantastic. And I honestly, honestly i'm so happy with the haul but i hope you guys are doing well and you've had a good week and that you're starting to get into the kind of christmas festive spirit um i think when you'll see this i would have just got back from paris so if you're interested to see what i got up to in my trip then feel free to head over to my instagram but i want to thank you guys for logging in and watching me today and if you've just stumbled across me i want to say thank you very much for staying with me and i hope that you've enjoyed today's haul but if you have enjoyed today's haul i would love it if you give me a thumbs up because it gives me an idea of the things that you have liked and if you have indeed enjoyed these hauls and would like to see more hauls from me in the future then it would be amazing if you could hit subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be notified every time I put a new video up but I want to say a big thank you for you guys watching me and I look forward to speaking to you soon take care guys have a lovely weekend bye